The thing you need to know about the Dodge brand is that we always get to where we're going without ever forgetting where we've been. The miles under our belts, the 100 plus years of know-how and swagger fuels us with the highest octane, gives us the greatest charge, and always will. What is that, and who the hell are you? Whoa, whoa, calm down, guys. I'm on your side. You can put down those wrenches. I'm on your team. It's OK. Damn, it wasn't easy getting here, and I don't have a lot of time. So here's the deal. You don't realize it yet, but you're at an extremely important decision point in your lives. Do you want to keep working for the system, or do you want to take on the system? Well, I know what we need you to do, and I'm here to make sure you see why because we can't afford for you to back down. You're just a couple of incredibly ballsy moves away from ensuring your legacy and making history. And this is your future. I know it sounds crazy, and I swear to you, I haven't been drinking. You're gonna wanna get in. Let's just say that you brothers created a brotherhood. You built something more than a car that made the guys across town mad. You guys made your name on big city streets back roads with new shiners, and on the high banks of racetracks across America. Look, the Dodge name became known for standout design and performance. The name Dodge, your name, 100 years from now, has become synonymous with baddest, quickest, fastest. Dodgiest. But right now, we're under attack. Your legacy is under attack. We need your help, spiritually, of course, to fight the system, not to comply, but to compete. Because regardless of what kind of power that propels us, this brand must always be pushed forward by the energy and attitude you guys instilled in us. This next generation charger is proof of that. It's fueled by the Brotherhood, but powered by lithium. The elixir? No, 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 no. We did the car that runs on alcohol last year. I'm talking about batteries driving electric drive motors to deliver instant torque to all four wheels. The combination is gonna redefine what it means to never lift and push the performance of this new Dodge muscle car beyond any conventional, no prep muscle car. But most people think electric cars are supposed to save the planet. Electric cars are supposed to be green and politically correct. So this thing must be super efficient and environmentally friendly, right? I don't know, maybe. But that was never the point. The point was that they told us we couldn't sell Hemi's but they never told us that we had to be boring and slow. So we took the rules, found the gray areas, and used them. Used them against them to build a muscle car, to build a Dodge muscle car, and slide it under the wire that the regulators threw down in front of us like spike strips on the highway. Look, everything that is cool about this car, from the R-wing design, it doesn't look like a typical battery electric melted jelly bean, to the 325 rear tires, to the E-Rep transmission, 
and most importantly, the ultra-high performance 550 kilowatt discharge rate all work together to ensure maximum acceleration, but hurt efficiency. And normally, you would never do things like that. But when was the last time anyone calculated the fuel economy of their muscle car? Yeah, they never did. That's not why they bought it. And that's not why anyone will buy the new Charger Daytona. They're gonna buy it because of the stunning stop you in your track styling and the segment redefining performance. The 400 volt scat pack Charger Daytona will put out over 670 horsepower and over 600 pound feet of instant torque transferred through a selectable all wheel drive system. It's gonna out accelerate today's red eye supercharged V8. And I'm not even talking about the 800 volt SRT Banshee system yet. Look, the bottom line is, this is not the electric car that they want the Brotherhood to have. This is a Dodge. This is an electric muscle car that will make the rule makers, the suits, and the lawyers wish they hadn't had a kale smoothie for lunch when they launched this thing. What's a kale smoothie? I don't really know, but you don't want one. What you will want is the Charger Daytona's game-changing interior. With more trick tech, it delivers best-in-class rear cargo space with a rear hatch and full flat seats. You're gonna get muscle car design and UV-like cargo carrying capacity. The thing is amazing. But what could be even better than a muscle coupe with UV capability and the functionality of a hatch? Well, easy. A four-door with all that as well. Yes, the Charger Daytona will be available as a two-door coupe and the four-door sedan hatch, both with the same wide-body stance that will put the passive world on notice. And what else puts the passive world on notice is our Pratsonic chambered exhaust system. It screams as loud as today's supercharged V8s. Whether you opt for the 496 horse RT or the 670 horsepower Scat Pack, or later, the SRT Banshee, Every charger carries the Dodge Torch when it comes to touching all the senses. Look, I know most people don't know the history. They don't know that there actually were electric cars before gas cars. And don't know that you guys dedicated your lives to coming up with something better than battery electric vehicles over 100 years ago. So you've got to be wondering why we've come full circle. Well, these electric Dodges are like time machines. They can take you back while launching you forward at the same time. This is more than a direct descendant of your origin story. It's a direct connection to the spirit of the past while powering this brand into tomorrow. Oh yeah, that wasn't the sound of the Fratsonic chamber in the Banshee. That was the scream of the most power dense internal combustion engine Dodge has ever installed in a muscle car. In 2025, the all new Charger will also be available as a six pack with the twin turbo Hurricane. Standard output hits the streets with 420 horsepower and the HO spins the dyno to 550 horsepower. But these aren't old school engines. No, these Hurricanes embody everything that we've learned about piston power since the doors of the Dodge Brothers shop first swung open. Twin turbos that perform like they're constantly spooled and a drive line that houses an eight-speed transmission and an all-wheel drive system, standard. But it's a Dodge. So we also let you turn it off and tear it up like a traditional rear-wheel drive muscle car. This is what a brand can build when you're always building on a promise to never lift. This is what happens when you work to deliver never before again and again. This is a story of American ingenuity that runs from right now straight back to your shop which is where we need to go, because you've got work to do, a legacy to cement, to build a foundation and a bridge to the future. All right, guys, the ride is over, but it's also just getting started. So thank you for this bloodline of ingenuity for this brotherhood, for writing the source code for these cars. Because it's not yet time for your legacy to go, it's go time for the next generation of Dodge Muscle. <laughs>